Howdy Tailspire friends, Brother Hannon here. In celebration of Dimension 20 publishing all of the battle maps from their D&D season called The Seven, Tailspire has also introduced a special feature that was designed specifically for this show. Introducing Vertical Fog. In this video, we'll explore the different types of fog effects and I'll show you how to make use of it in your own builds. Let's get started. For this, you'll need GM access and I'd recommend placing a structure down on your board so you can see how the fog affects it. As examples, I'll be using some of the maps that I had the pleasure of building for Dimension 20's The Seven. Once you're in your board, press space to show the icons in the top left corner. Click the compass icon, second from the top, and you'll notice a new drop-down menu labeled Vertical Fog. At the time of recording, there are six different options. Atmosphere Fog will adjust its hue to match the ambience of your atmosphere settings. You may have noticed the new purple handle on the right-hand slider column. You can drag it up or down to adjust the elevation of the fog. There's also a small white diamond on this tool that you can click and slide left or right. This slider controls the density or fall off of the fog effect. Sliding left makes it more dense and sliding right makes it softer. Atmosphere fog. As you can see, the fog will adjust to the tone of my scene as I change the time of day. I can even change the day cycle to a green slump or darkness and the fog will turn green or black. Calm fog adjusts only slightly by changes in your atmosphere settings. Notice how it won't turn green or black or red like the first setting did. Darkness, of course, gives you dark fog and is almost black in certain positions of the day cycle. But you can adjust it for some interesting dingy, grungy vibes. Glowing heat is like staring straight into the surface of the sun. It's bright, but when you splice it into certain assets, you can achieve some very interesting glowing effects like this lava. And green haze is exactly what you'd expect. It's green, it's hazy. Probably good for sewers, maybe jungle, chemical, acid pools, you know, that kind of thing. Adjust your lighting if you want to brighten it up a little bit for different uses. Finally, you can select none to remove all of the vertical fog effects. All right, let's check out some of the cool effects that you can pull off with fog. If you want to make a bottomless pit, like this one from my buddy Genghis, you'll get a lot of mileage out of the darkness option. Here are a few different styles of lava. And here's an airship in the clouds. Here's a steamy jungle. And that's vertical fog in a nutshell. I hope this video was helpful for you. And I'm really pumped to see what you guys come up with. The Tailspire devs are always adding awesome new features and this was my first tutorial, but if it was helpful, let me know. And if there are other features you want highlights on, or if you have questions, shoot me a comment down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the battle map.